Yeah, Sam versus Usain. Everyone's boxing each other now, so maybe we just actually have them box each other. Would that be more fair? A Sam versus Usain box. I don't know, Usain's reach is yeah. heavy. He's like 6'4", yeah. and he's really fast. I don't... They're probably in the same weight class, though. <laughs> but, like, incredibly different reach. Let's just... We're gonna have them box. Let's set that up. Is this going to be a cyclical event, or is this going to be a stop and start event? That's the first place you start with that. And this event is going to be cyclical, right? It's not heavy enough, it's not skill-based enough, it's not grindy enough to be start and stop. So because it's going to be cyclical, then it comes down to two things. It's either the cycle time, or it's the transitions. And those are six and one half dozen up, right? If you go re like blazing fast somewhere, but take a really slow transition, that may or may not be the best place to be. So you have to figure out which of those am I gonna play with, or am I gonna play with both of them? Obviously that's the, the end all be all. So we talked about beforehand, like what's the, what's the differentiation being in the workout? And at the elite level, the differentiation in that workout is going to be the speed of the box jump, for the box jumps. So that's why we need to train and lean into that, because everyone's gonna rip through the bags, everyone's gonna rip through the JGs, everyone's gonna transition really fast. That's going to be the differentiators who can lean into that metabolically expensive thing because it's the only place to pick up that much faster cycle time. There's room on the bags for sure, but that's gonna be the biggest differentiator across the 60 reps. 60 of those is going to be really big. What is the focus of programming right now? Um, the first objective would be to transition these guys from uh, a recovery phase, essentially, to a full-time training phase. So there's a transitional week or two that's built in. Um, and then from there, it's kind of a three-pronged approach, which is really no different than any other time of the year. It's just different shades of gray. Um, and that is build up endurance slash stamina, build up strength slash power, and work on weaknesses. So we kind of lean into those things in those individual buckets a little bit more this time of year. And as we get closer and closer, those blend into each other a little bit more and turn into more like the, the sports-specific stuff. But I think we gotta slow him down. It's been really heavy. Before. Like a hundred meter sled? Yeah, really heavy though. Yeah. Ah. Uh, no, I want to see a light no. sled. Because it's all. I'm gonna get smashed then. <laughs> maybe. Yes, maybe. I will get smashed. <laughs> in this hypothetical yes, one hundred percent. So you should do both of them and just compare. Who else is a poop athlete? Julian Edelman. Uh, Mellow Ball. You know, Molly oh, Shiel just won. Uh, There's a lot of um, rappers that are too. Oh, so you race like Quavo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're faster than Quavo. Free for really quickly, I know you guys know it, but it's 90 seconds, um, sorry, 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off, eight times through that, rest, and then we have a um, one to one. So obviously this is going from a one to three to a one to one. So it becomes very different. And the one, the work, doubles. So it's gonna be a little bit of a trap, a little bit of a trick because you're going to be used to going at X, but then the next one has to be X minus, but you still got to be able to flush and get it out. It's going to be a cool way to kind of get our bodies to respond to being able to work through the high intensity.
It's a coach. Don't let it be a critic. That voice in your head is a coach. It would talk to you saying you. We didn't even go that hard. It's just a bunch of washed up old. I went to go watch Men's League with my dad play. Someone, like, the EMS came every week. Someone got hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And it was like 40 and older or something. Someone like always, that. like, tears a calf. Yeah, always, like, ACL, <laughs> calf, Achilles, something. I'm gonna say Achilles. And then no knee bend runs. <laughs> <laughs> Shabby. 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 Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? I did. That's shabby. I would say that's shabby. I've heard it before. Really? I was told. I got it. Watch. Turn the camera rolling right now. Woo! How does it feel getting back in the training? Uh, it feels rough. So I basically like didn't work out for two weeks after the games. And then I did like class a few times a week for probably three weeks. And then last week I tried to do a little bit more because I knew we were like starting today. So I'm actually not as out of shape as I thought I was gonna be, but it's still been pretty rough. But it's been really fun getting back together with everyone and training again. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good for the most part. Uh, the echo bike intervals were pretty gnarly, but the nice recovery zone two, three row was a pretty good flush, so it felt pretty good after that. Is there anything you're looking forward to this season in particular? Mm -hmm. just, just, just going and just getting after it. Redemption year, so it'll be good. Looking forward to it. <laughs> 